Okay, so I've stitched and flipped the black now onto there, onto the two sides. I just stitched a little bit past the pink, okay, on both sides. So now we want to take our other two black pieces and lay them down. Now again, these must extend past the first black pieces in order for us to do our cheaty um, mitered corner. So these are going to get stitched. Now we're not going to stitch all the way to the end here. We're going to start stitching right on this edge of this pink here. So we're not going to stitch into the black. We're going to start right on where the pink is and stitch all the way down and stop at the pink, okay, and lock off. So you need to lock off at the beginning and lock off at the end. So that way then it will be stitched just from here all the way down to here. So these will be hanging loose like that, okay? So I'm going to do that now on both sides and then come back and show you what that looks like. So you could um, put the pin in there so you know where the end is or you could mark it with chalk or something if you can't see but you don't want to go over with any stitches into the black, okay? So here it goes. Okay, now I've stitched down the other two sides. So you can see here how I stopped right where the pink begins. Now to create this mitre what you want to do is lift up this one you've just stitched and turn it. Okay so just turn it around and lay it right side down so it lines up with the edge of this other one that's sticking out over here. And then when you gently press, you've got a perfect mitered corner. Okay, so I'm going to do it again. So this one is down, so I'm going to pick it up and turn it. And lay it down so the edges are aligned with the edges sticking out on the other one. And then use your hands, sorry my hands are in the way, and press and you'll see this fold is coming from the corner and there you have a perfect mitered corner.